Hello friends, in this session we are going to learn how to run Sonar Scanner CLI from the zip file. Let's start. So here we will start with this. What is Sonar Scanner CLI? Let's see. Sonar Scanner CLI, CLI means Command Line Interface, is a tool provided by SonarCube for analyzing the source code of projects. It is used to perform static code analysis and to detect bugs, vulnerabilities, code mail and security vulnerabilities in various programming languages. So how it works Sonar Scanner? So let's see if uh, it will install in the Sonar Scanner CLI, CLI means, <coughs> sorry, it means configuring it to connect to SonarCube server. Okay. So, it's meaning uh, running the code analysis on your project and doing the analysis results with, within the your Sonar Scanner dashboard. Okay, so it means the analysis result will help developer understand code quality issues and it takes corrective actions to improve code maintainability, reliability and security. This is our Sonar Scanner. Okay, let's see now how to run Sonar Scanner CLI from the zip file. So, firstly, you have to download the Sonar Scanner CLI zip file. So, you have to go on your official website, Sonar Scanner page, like this, and you have to download the Sonar Scanner CLI as your operating system. Okay, so let's go on your official website, click on this, and this. Official okay. So let's see here. Uh, this is Sonar Scanner CLI and this is version 5.0.1. So as your your OS, this Sonar Scanner CLI, you have to download it. My OS is Windows 64 bit. Click on this Windows 64 bit. Okay, and it will automatically download. Okay. So I have already downloaded file this. Let's see here uh, this one. Okay. After that, what we have to do? Let's see here. Second, second step, extract the zip file. So, firstly, we have to extract the downloaded zip file. So, click on this and unzip this or extract it. Okay. Click on this, extract it all or unzip this all. So, I have already unzipped this here because if I go inside this Sonar Scanner folder, then these folders we have. So, after that, next step, you have to set environment variable. So, if uh, you have to setting up environment variable, might be necessary for the Sonar Scanner CLI to recognize the system. The instruction of for Sonar setting up environment variable can differ on your operating system you are using. So, here we are using Windows Forum. So, see here. Firstly, we have to go on your this PC or my computer and select this buffer. Or simply you can search here. From here you can search directly environment variable. So I will go with this environment variable. Okay. So it is the system environment variable. And go on your advanced setting and click on this environment variable. After that, you have to select this path. From system variable. Okay. So select your path and this folder path, green folder path of the Sonar Scanner, you have to copy from here and paste in your system environment. Okay. Environment variable in that here you have to add this, this path. Okay. Like that. So this is my Sonar Scanner window. Okay, this part I have already added here. So, okay, okay, and again, okay. okay. After that, next step, let's see all the steps we have performed. So, let's see. After that, you have to verify the Sonar Scanner installation. So, using this command, Sonar Scanner dot bad open here. Using this command, you can verify the Sonar Scanner installation. So, you will get to see the 
health information or to not any CNS if inst the installation was successful. Like, let's see, let me open it clearly. Open it. And this cannot cannot dot bad. I can get this one. I will put in our service. And see here uh, our cannot cannot CLI profile or our setup has been completed or cannot cannot used on successful. Okay. So this information we have to get. Okay. Next step, configure the SUNAS to properties if necessary. If you have to run this project, that's why you have to create the SUNAS project property in your root of the directory to your project to configure the properties such as SUNAR key, URL, project key, login password, authentication, token, like that. All this property you have to add in your project. Okay. In the sonar project or so like that you have to add all this property. Okay. So let's see here in the configuration here in the property section. I will add it all this property. Okay. So let's see here. This is our property section and here I have already added some Properties like sona.sql, this URL I will add it on the this sona scanner property. So, and after that, login, this login I have already added, and this is password. Okay. If I want to give this sona project key, this will you have to add your project name as a sona scanner. CLI project. Okay. So any name you here as your requirement and add to home project. Okay. Let's save it. And after that, go to your project where your project is saved and you have to open the terminal. It's a split step. Okay. So I will see. Run your synaptic analysis. Okay, so first you have to go your project and this synaptic analysis command you have to run on your terminal and run your synaptic analysis command. So it may work and let's see. <clears throat> so let's see here our project execution. Okay, so now let's click if you have to result. So let's go on your synaptic dashboard and refresh this page and refresh. And you can see here uh, your SONAR scanner CLI project will be here. Okay, let's see. Is it? 
main project main branch is not handled because this, this project in that project we have zero code here. Okay, that's why we cannot see the we cannot analyze this project. the main branch has no line of code okay so in this way we will learn how to run one of the CLI from the system thank you for the watching video